Hi guys, how are we doing? So, there's no really been much happening in the garden over the past week. Um, but I'll show you, show you anyway. Um, the wife still hasn't put her flowers out yet. Now if you remember right, these are cherry tomatoes, the only two I managed to save. And they were turning white. They still are, but they're actually get, starting to get their colour back. And there is new growth on on the leaves, on the, the plant. So they're definitely um, coming back, they're surviving. This is a crimson crush I had to put in to replace the, the dead cherry tomato. And these are just, um, as you can see, French marigolds. Um, basically that's it. <coughs> Tomatoes are doing... Uh, potatoes are doing well. I'm starting to see some strawberries and the strawberry plants are down here. Um, the corn, as you can tell, I think that's the bad compost that I'd put on that and I didn't change it before I put the corn in. I'm just hoping that that comes back. Over in the trees, we do have some apples, but most of them will come off because this is only the first year. See, I've got like apples. And we have some plums. But again, I don't know. I might let them grow. I don't know. I'll wait and see. There's nothing on the cherries and there's nothing on the pear. The lettuce that I put in the bucket just for cut and come again is looking good. And we have some chard there and I still get I need some more chard for in there but I've got some the peas have started flowering this is both broccoli I believe which I started early we have had quite a lot of rain in the past week and this has grown by about uh, 8 inches look at the size here yeah even here if you remember right this this put it there tomato plant was white but it looks perfect now everything's growing everything seems to have survived but look at the thickness of that garlic it's, I mean it's thinner than my finger and then look at that one and it's the same it's the same garlic different places flowers are doing okay this this is due to come off this is due to come off and got hung up for the summer and here we have again the cut and come again chard and a come, cut and come again I pick these leaves off and have them for dinner on a sandwich this is cauliflower that needs to be thinned out or a picked up and transplanted this is broccoli again needs to be transplanted we've got the other raw carrots that's come they're coming up yeah these are carrots that I put in a while ago and these carrots have started to come up as well now and these ones and if we come over here These are the cabbage that I transplanted. This is lettuce again that needs picked um, and eaten. These are turned up. I transplanted the pak choy, which is what these are. That's a Brussels sprout. And I put two other Brussels sprouts up in that corner. That there's the uh, soil that I can still use. But if I remember, I planted some Swiss chard seed up oh, and they've come up so they'll need to get transplanted soon might do that today or tomorrow tomorrow's to be a nice day so I might do it tomorrow I still don't have any room for those onions I maybe have to give them away <laughs> um, and really that's about all that's happening in the garden I did put 
down here I put extra kale and there's one you can see one starting to come up so a bottle up that's them starting to come up we'll get them going now that's a weed and really that's us I'm not doing much anymore These are still, I haven't found a place for them, but I mean the strawberries are really starting to come up now. These are again lettuce, but they'll probably just go in the compost bin now. Um, and the good thing about all this is, if we come into the grow room, it's now just a storage space. For all the chemicals that I promised I wouldn't use, but I mean, it's tomato right, Epsom salt and Calmag, that's the only chemicals that I've been using. And that's it. As I said, my daughter got married on Saturday, so there was a lot of preparation for that. And now I'm, I'm recovering. <laughs> um, nothing much doing. Cut the grass. As I said, the peas again. The, those peas have started flowering. Those peas have started flowering. All the cauliflower and broccoli going along the buckets. We're doing well. The only flowers I've got in at the moment is the chai flowers. I'm still waiting on the wife putting all these these out. We do have sweet peas. And the wife's got her pansies down the bottom. Um, but I feel a lot happier about my tomatoes now. I think they're starting to kind of pick up. Now I'm just worried about the corn. And it's too too late now to actually start corn, I think. But if I'm wrong, please comment below. Let me know if I can just put in more seeds. and um, If they'll come to any fruit. Okay. Anyway. Things are starting to look green now, if you look at the, the screen, it, it, things are green, which is what I like. Okay, anyway, hope you all stay safe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.